Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephanie B. And today's video is going to be my nighttime routine with the boys. I was pretty lucky today, Jay got home early, so you won't really see the boys in the first part of the video because they're doing homework and playing with their dad. So when I first get home, we put backpacks up. I try and get Preston started with his homework. I also get the boys a snack and I usually start dinner. So tonight I am making homemade beef stroganoff. It's really only about five ingredients and it's super delicious. So while I'm waiting on the pan for the ground turkey to heat up, I am just washing up some of the dishes that were left in the sink from the morning. And I also like to rinse out my containers from my lunch bag, just so that I can go ahead and start prepping my lunch for the next day as well. So now that the dishes are pretty much done and put away, I am going to start to brown my ground turkey. I add a little bit of seasoning salt, some garlic powder, and just a little bit of pepper. After mixing all that together, I'm gonna add my noodles to the water. Honestly, the water was not completely boiling, but I was okay with it. I mean, honestly, I just need them to soften up and it's easier to go ahead and have all of that going while I'm making the rest of the mixture. So I added one can of cream of mushroom soup and just stir all that together. And then next I'm going to add a half a cup of sour cream. And when you mix all of that together with the ground turkey, it just creates kind of the sauce for the beef stroganoff. So once I'm done adding all of this together, I'll just have to add the noodles. While I was cooking dinner, Preston informed us that he learned um, his vowels at school. He calls them vitals. It's super cute. Um, but he and his dad were working on picking out the vowels in our names. So here is So here's the final product. I added the noodles to the stroganoff mixture and it turned out great. I also just had some green beans for the kids. Um, I just add chicken stock instead of water. Preston is not a fan of green beans, but I always put them on his plate and make him eat a few. Pierce actually really loves them. So here I am just plating up their stroganoff I always put the hot stuff on their trays first so that while I'm doing other things and preparing the last part of dinner, 
um, it can cool off so that it's not burning them or not too hot when they get ready to eat. I'm just grabbing some fresh fruit from the refrigerator. They love grapes and strawberries. I always put them um, in a colander or in a bowl or something and rinse them off first and then I get ready to cut them up. I know my kids are getting older but I still cut up their grapes for sure. I don't want them choking and then I at least cut their strawberries in half. Sometimes I quarter them and I also add or not add but I also cut up um, extra grapes because it never fails anytime there's fruit on their trays they're going to ask for more which is not a bad thing I don't mind so I always have some on hand so I don't have to go back and start cutting more Now I'm just grabbing some yogurt, one of Preston's favorite things for dinner or to go with his dinner is vanilla yogurt. He's loved it since he was a baby. So now we're just sitting down um, and having a little bit of dinner. I loved watching this footage back because watching it in a faster setting is hilarious. It looks like I'm chewing so quickly. <laughs> and now that dinner is over, it is time to go upstairs and get ready to take a bath. While I'm running their bath water, they play a little bit in the playroom. And here they are just having a good old time in the bathtub. I love watching them play. They get so happy. Um, now it is time to get dressed. I usually help Pierce get dressed. He loves to be a big boy and help. Um, and Pierce is actually up there on top of his bed getting dressed, as you can see. Pierce Pierce, he is my book lover. And so while we're getting dressed, he brings me his book. <laughs> It's called Boo. It's one of our favorites. So he wanted to read it now and instead of reading it for bedtime. So if he wants to read, I'm okay with reading. They love it. They really get into this book. As you can see, Preston jumps up every time I say Boo. So after we read, the kids go back to the playroom and I give them a before bedtime snack. You can see Pierce living his best life, eating his muffins. And Preston is building his big Lego blocks. That kid loves anything <clears throat> that is building. You can use magnets, Legos, blocks, whatever. He loves it. And now his T-Rex is terrorizing everyone. Pierce is funny. He likes it, but he doesn't like it. You just never know. Then they go into the bathroom before bed. They are learning how to brush their teeth independently. Now, I always go back in afterwards and I brush them, but I like for them to feel like they're doing it themselves.
Now it's vitamin time. Who doesn't love a good vitamin that's just like a gummy bear? I do. I don't know about you. So they each get a vitamin. They love the orange ones. So I try and let them pick their colors. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, but most dates it does. Now it's time for us to get ready to say our prayers. Pierce this is ready, and Preston is going to join us in a second. Preston hates going to bed, so sometimes I have to talk him into coming back in. So we say our prayers together as a family. And then they get ready to get into bed. Usually P-Man gets in first. I tuck him in. He dropped his vitamin, so I ran to go grab him another one. So he's getting all set up and ready. And then Pierce is actually already in bed as well. So I'll make my way over to give him a hug and a kiss as well. Tell both of the boys good night, and I love you to the moon and back, and I'll see you in the morning. So that brings us to the end of my nighttime routine with the boys. It's about 8.15, and they are both in the bed. They're not sleeping. You can see them on the monitor. They're not sleeping, but they are talking to each other and they're laid down. So they should fall asleep within the next probably 20 minutes. I would usually, um, when I get downstairs, I'd usually go clean the kitchen, but I'm exhausted. So I'm going to sit down for a little bit and I might go back and clean it a little bit. Well, I will because I hate going to bed with a dirty kitchen. Uh -huh. But well, anyways, right now I'm just gonna hang out. I'm gonna paint my nails. I need to grade some papers. And I also probably will sit here and watch some reality TV because it's something mindless. And you know, once you finally wind down, you want to have a little bit of time just to chill and veg out. So we'll see where the night takes me. Um, but thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. So anytime I upload a new video, you'll get, um, you'll get the notification right away. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.